from Fly Fierce Fab and in today's video I'm coming at you with a review on the hair that I use to make this wig that I'm wearing. I am wearing a frontal and my frontal is from Wigs by Neek. This is a 16 inch Brazilian body wave frontal and I'm wearing three bundles of Meek Brazilian body wave hair from Diamond Virgin Hair. I've been wearing this hair for like three weeks now. I do not heat style it. The only time heat has touched this hair at all is when I'm establishing a new part and I will take my mini flat iron to help me do that. The wig came out a little bit too big, so I had to MacGyver some things. When I remake the wig and have like a better fit, then I will post that video for you guys. But when I'm doing curls like this, I flexi rod it, and I basically use the blue and the purple flexi rods from Sally's. I concentrate the purple ones at the top because those are smaller, and then I use the blue ones um, in the back and on the bottom. To apply my frontal, I use the Got To Be Glued Gel and the spray. And a major key to getting your frontal to dry faster is you want blow dry it on cool. I learned that from Malibu Dollface's videos and that was such a lifesaver. Let's talk about the frontal first. This is my first time wearing a frontal so I was a little nervous about making the wig with it but the reason that I specifically wanted to get a frontal was because it would have a hairline. Um, for those of you who don't know if you're new to my videos I started wearing wigs because I'm anemic and one of the ways that that affected my body is I started to lose a lot of my hair and I couldn't figure out why but I found out because it was the way that anemia was affecting my body. Anyways, I'm now natural, my hair is growing back, thank you Jesus, and we are on the mend and on the grow. So that's why I started wearing wigs and that is why I wanted to try a wig with a frontal because it would give me that hairline, I would have more styling options, and I wouldn't have to worry about like leave out or anything like that. Um, you can check out her site and check her out on Instagram. All the information for both hair companies will be below in the description box. I placed my order with her during her Black Friday sale, it was like a couple of days before Black Friday. So with shipping I got this frontal for about 146 I want to say and regular price I think it says on the invoice is like 170 the frontals from wigs by Neek come with pre bleached knots and that's great because then you don't have to worry about like bleaching the knots yourself um that being said this is not the first frontal that I received from wigs by Neek the first one that I got um actually it looks like a little bit of the bleach had like touched the front of the hair on the frontal so there was like a little blonde spot so I reached out to her and explained that and then she sent me a new frontal every time I I've interacted with her she's been nothing but pleasant and professional and I'm really pleased with the replacement frontal that she sent me and she does a really good job bleaching these knots or as far as like placing my order goes and like that whole process there is a little bit longer of a processing time and that is keeping in mind of course like all the holidays that did draw it out a little bit longer but like I said when I got this frontal I was very happy the frontal does hold a curl really really well although I do feel like I personally should have bought the frontal that had a slightly tighter wave pattern this way when it's in its natural state it would blend a little bit better with the texture of the body wave hair but again that's like a purchasing choice that's not an issue with the hair I am starting to notice some light shedding after I wash the hair and that is something that started after I plucked the frontal I did notice that I do want to find something that I can do to sort of like slow that down like I said it's not excessive so I want to take all the proper precautions ahead of time um, this way it'll last me as long as possible okay so now let's talk about these bundles so like I said I got three bundles of the mink Brazilian body wave hair from diamond virgin hair I'm wearing the lengths 18 20 and 22 and it came in this box right here it just says diamond virgin hair um, I purchased this as a bundle deal on Black Friday and I got all three bundles for $2.28 I believe. Um, the shipping was really really fast. I ordered it on Black Friday and I got it within like a few days. I will say that when I opened the box all that was inside was the bundles in plastic packaging. Um, there was no packing slip or information in there. There wasn't a business card. There were no care instructions. Literally when I opened the shipping box all that was inside was the box I showed you guys and my bundles in their plastic packaging. That was it. I thought that was a little bit weird because usually when you buy hair from the company they at least have like their business card or something like that in there but um it was just the hair and I wasn't really tripping because all I really wanted was the hair so but something I typically do before I purchase hair from anybody is I always reach out to the company first 
I ask for like care instructions on the hair that I'm interested in. So I did that with Diamond Virgin Hair and they responded and they suggested using the Herbal Essence Hello Hydration Shampoo and Conditioner to take care of the hair. So that is what I washed the hair and the frontal with when I received it. Okay, so let's talk about the pros of this hair. When I received this hair, there was no smell. There's still no smell. <laughs> Um, it was really beautiful. It was super soft. The natural curl pattern is gorgeous. The hair is still really, really soft, actually. I really like that. and really holds a curl well. I've, I'm trying to avoid heat styling as long as possible, simply because I know that with um, virgin hair, while yes, the texture or pattern will come back to a degree after um, heat styling, over a period of time, it no longer is the same as when you first got the hair. So that's why I'm just trying to put that off, because like I said, I want to get a year out of this hair. Um, I have not experienced any matting or tangling with this hair at all. Um, the most I get is like little snags at the end once in a while when it's been like flexi rotted, but in its natural state, I really don't run into any issues like that. And also, it's affordable. I was able to get the three bundles that I mentioned for $228, and that's a pretty good deal. Um, with some companies, you probably would maybe get two bundles for that price. So, um, I liked that. But I did not cut the wefts when I made this wig. I did the fold over method until we got right to the top back where my frontal is. Then I believe I cut a couple of the wefts. Anyway, my two cons for this hair. Uh, the weft quality with the longest bundle. When I was sealing it, I noticed that there was like a string thread thing hanging down. So it looks like something happened when the weft itself was being sewn and made. And I guess that wasn't caught when they received the bundle before like sending it out. To anybody else so I do have a video clip so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about had this been something that I noticed when I first got the hair because remember I bought the hair back in November but I couldn't make my wig until the second frontal came in like January had I noticed the issue with the left right away I would have emailed Diamond Virgin hair about that but at this point I I've already been waiting this long to make my wig it didn't look like the left was like really falling apart um I just kept going and made the wig because I really did not want to have to wait any longer to wear this hair <laughs> all right my second con with this hair which is actually a pretty big deal to me is there are a lot lot of split ends in the bundles. I've already had to go through all the bundles twice with some shears to trim the split ends I found. I've done two search and destroy method missions. <laughs> There's one right now as so I'm talking to you guys. Like that, that's just not cute. And I don't understand why I'm seeing so many split ends. I've only been wearing this hair for three weeks. I have not been heat styling it. I only use flexi rods on the ends. I don't apply heat when I dry it. I lay it out to dry. Um, and it's not wear and tear because I've only been wearing it for three weeks. So I don't understand why I'm seeing all those split ends, especially after going through and trimming. The hair doesn't feel crazy like when I feel like when you feel the ends, like they still feel soft and smooth. It's just when I look at the hair, I'm seeing split ends. And I didn't color the hair either. This is the exact color that the hair was when I received it. In the back of my mind, I was thinking like maybe in the future I would like dye it blonde or something because I've done that before with other units. But now I'm kind of scared to do that because if I'm already seeing split ends after three weeks, no heat styling, no color, no nothing, I'm a little scared as to what would happen if I tried to like bleach it. Like I feel like I would see a lot more split ends so I'm concerned about that um, I am thinking about getting something to help prevent more in the future but I also do know the only real way to treat split ends is you just have to cut them off I will come back periodically and do like check-in update reviews this way you guys can see how the hair has been wearing um, like I said I am hoping to get at least a year out of this hair I definitely need to get at least seven months out of this hair to feel satisfied. We'll see what happens. <laughs> as far as the frontal goes, and with any frontal in general, longevity wise, um, I'm just going to keep an eye on the shedding, but I think it'll probably be fine. My bigger concern is with the bundles and the split ends that I'm seeing. I really want this hair to last me a good long time, and I'm concerned about all the split ends that I keep finding. And that's basically it about this hair. If you have more questions, you can leave a comment below and I will get back to you. You can catch me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I am Fly For Your Spab on all those platforms. Uh, don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel. By the way, if you aren't already following me on Instagram, you definitely should. I am currently doing a Valentine's Day makeup giveaway. There will be two winners. I'll put a picture of the prizes right here. And one of the prizes in the first prize pack is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. So you definitely want to go check that out. I'll leave the link to the Instagram post about my contest below in the description box. You can check out my blog to flyfearsfab.com. Thanks for watching, stay snatched, and I'll see you next time.